Hello internet and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. Today we're out and about, we're at a, uh, our local car yard. Car's in very good condition as you can see, and we're here getting parts of this, an old VT Calais. So first off it's a bit windy out, as you can see there's a storm rolling in, so hopefully we can get what we need before that hits. Now yeah there's plenty to choose from here, and it's all a bit of a, uh, a free for all, being a local rubbish dump and what have you. So all we're interested in today though is this old Calais, uh, it was a 5 litre V8 but that has since disappeared for good reason, they're an alright engine. Um, all the Mac transmission that's gone as well, the seats are pretty worn out. All we really want is this bit under here. That diff is an LSD so uh, it's only a 3.08 ratio which is pretty standard on these so our mission is to try and flip that car in a position where we can access it easily. So um, <laughs> we've got a tow rope, we've got a trusty old Ranger, let's see what we can do. You won't believe this but literally as I stopped filming that intro the skies opened up so let's see what we can do. <laughs> I'm not too sure how well it's going to go but anyway um, yep we've got that strapped on there and then that is attached to the back of our Ranger and then all we're going to do is just try to pull it out so that it's power off. It's kind of right angle to these cars and then we'll be able to flip it over hopefully. Well that side of the gun's being a bit more stubborn than anticipated. We had to get that Mitzi out of the way. Now this thing's caught up on something over here. I think it's caught up on the Subaru. Let's have a look. Yep, we're currently trying to pull that old door with us. The, the hubs decided to take the boot of the Subaru with it. Well that's not too good. Um, we're making progress. We snapped our rope again. Lucky this is just a this is just a junk one. Uh, how are we looking on this side? Looks like I've taken the front of that uh, patrol with us. <sighs> Sheesh. We want something underneath the back though, which is on the ground. If it was under the front, we'll be good to go. <laughs> well, I guess we just got to retry and give it another crack. So that's the uh, halfway there. Now we've just got to figure out how to flip it over onto its side or onto its back, ideally. Um, this junk here is going to help help us or hinder us. Not sure yet. Anyway, we've uh, moved it quite a fair way. Hopefully, we haven't scratched up the diff too much. You know, the part that we actually want. Um, all right, let's see what happens. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> I can't wait to see the footage of that. Oh gosh. But well, there we go. <laughs> we, we have full access to the underbody of the Calais. <laughs> oh look, there's a diff we want. 
Oh, easy access. Look right there. Oh, I'm just too excited. Look, the fuel tank's gone. <laughs> Someone's taking the fuel tank as well. Anyway. Oh, that was a blast. <laughs> And there we have one hole. Where is the diff, you say? It's down there. Absolutely fantastic. So we got it out, uh, just cut through the arms. Um, you'll be glad to know that they are solid steel in there, so nice and strong. Uh, cut through the drive line, which is now gone. There was a few bolts here that I didn't initially see, um, but we managed to, you probably saw me um, block it out and then kind of get my spanners in there. Had to use a muffler as a bit of leverage because that's all I could find around here quite handy but anyway we have the diff out and now that we have a functioning LSD kind of functioning it's not really functioning on the ground uh, we'll clean it up and then I guess we'll go find a car to put it into I um, I actually have no need for this diff I have no want for this diff I just really want to flip a car over and pull out a diff so that's done anyway let's go back to the shed Okay guys, so here we are, it's the next day. That storm just absolutely bucketed down once I got home um, and it just became too noisy and too wet to film anything. Um, so here we are on the next day. Uh, beautiful sunshine out, actually, it's wonderful. So I told you last episode that I would jinx it and the Sylvia is still not going. Still waiting for bouts. And it's just how long things take to get to me out here in the outback. So that's just what it is, unfortunately. Um, so as I said, we don't really need this diff. I have no use for this diff, but it was a lot of fun getting it out. I'm still buzzing over that. It was so cool. Um, anyway, we'll finish stripping it down. Um, I've given a bit of a clean with the hose on the outside. Um, I'm looking down at it. It's here. That's why I keep looking down. See? There, where, there it is. Um, so we'll take all the rest of these arms off that we just chopped and the drive shaft. Now that's on the ground, it might be a bit easier to actually do those parts so uh yeah we'll get into it and give it a little bit of a cleanup and finish stripping it and i'm just going to repeat myself because i got nothing else to say anyway So now the sun has set, the diff is ready. I know it sounds dramatic, but that really is what's happened. Anyway, that will probably just go and sit over here on my shelf of bits and pieces that I don't have cars for, like those rims which have a stud pattern for a Toyota that I don't have anymore, or all that gear which is a manual conversion kit for a Commodore, or the turbo that's sitting under there, or the other oh, hand, where's the actual transmission? Oh, there it is. Actual transmission, 5-speed T5 for a car I don't have. Um, a tail shaft for a vehicle I have no idea what it is. Anyway, you get the point. I have a lot of parts that I don't know what to do with. I know what to do with those, though. They'll go into a car sooner or later. Maybe this one. Anyway. So that's all for tonight. I shall see you next week. And hopefully our belts will have arrived by then. So, talk to you then. See ya!